My name is Annabelle, and this is day two of four therapy training, the intensive week. Like I already said before, this is for me to reflect and share my thoughts. It's nothing technical about it, um, just something that I can look back on, and if you're interested to hear that, you can keep watching. So today we went on the first official forest therapy walk as a group and you know arriving yesterday was kind of interesting because you're with a bunch of people that you don't necessarily expect would be interested in this type of thing and yet they clearly are and interested not just in learning about forest therapy they've obviously already done research and heard about it and want to help others um, find healing and peace within the forest. Also specifically, forest, a forest therapy guide does not, you're not acting as a therapist. The forest is the therapist and you are guiding people and inviting them to participate in different um, activities that would could potentially open them up and bring clarity relaxation whatever it might bring up for you um, with these different invitations anyway it was really interesting to see how you know we all kind of walked into the woods i had the same feeling then all of a sudden once we actually begun the walk it was like everyone kind of took they all stood as guides so to speak they all appeared to me as people who really were genuinely interested in this and that I could actually see how interested they were in um, wanting to pursue this as more than just, oh hey, you know, I'm really interested in this, let me learn about it. They want to spread it. Yeah, and then there are a few different things I want to notice to just point out. I was participating in one of the invitations and I was walking very slowly and I came upon this birch tree that I was like wow this is really amazing and I just kind of put my hand on it and just after I did that it was cloudy all day or all morning and all of a sudden the the sky just cleared up and sun came like streaming down the trunk of the birch tree and it was just a really extraordinary feeling and it's like as if the whole area lit up. And then after that I kind of noticed how the clouds have their own way of kind of lighting up the trees too. And then another invitation was having a conversation with the tree. I guess what I was seeking through that or what the invitation was is what was your intention what clarity do you want after this week that's at least how I interpreted it um, and so I guess through my conversing oh my god ah uh, mosquitoes I guess the conclusion that I came to with that activity invitation was I think yesterday I was actually talking about this but like it's this feeling of being supported um, with all the different things I'm interested in and the different places I uh, want to spend my time. It's really reassuring knowing that I have this one place that'll always be there, that I can always come to, where I can feel supported, secure, understood. And obviously you can tell by me just moving around the camera, but the mosquitoes definitely 100% supported me and my desire to come back and feel like, you know, the forest is where I will continually find support always. Another thing we did was we just kind of sat somewhere for a while and I was near running water. Um, it was really amazing. I would kind of thought about it before but not specifically as uh, it wasn't as a 
as meaningful as it was when I um, kind of saw it today. So just sitting there and you notice the water flowing, right? I started thinking about how, you know, you letting go and not thinking as much and more taking action and what that can lead to. And then you also notice how there are so many roadblocks in the stream's way and yet they always find a way around. There's always a way to get to where you want to be. It might not be the direction that you once thought you might take, but it is the one that you end up taking and it's the right one. Okay, so I had to move because I thought my um, ride was here, but they're not. So one other thing, the community aspect of forest therapy is really amazing and knowing that everyone there is supporting each other is a fantastic feeling. Um, the sharing that you do and the tea ceremony is all just makes the experience so much um, so much better. But one thing I want to say and then I'll end today. I think throughout schooling and other activities I've always felt that the people who usually speak up and say something are always going to do that. And I never really felt the need to do so. But with this forest therapy, everyone is equal. You can say as much as you want, or you can just say a few words. And that to me is extremely powerful because knowing that you have the space to say more if you want to, or you can say as little as you want if you don't feel like you have anything you want to share. I really wish more people more education systems, more activities, went about things like this. Giving people the opportunity to even just, you know, we're not asking for an answer, but just give me a word about what your experience was like, or a full sentence, a paragraph, a whole 30 minutes of talking, whatever it is, but really trying to make sure that everyone is supported equally and that they feel the space to say what they need to say.